What I'm trying to do is avoid an accident here. I've got this giant television. It sits on a really puny base, weighs over 100 pounds, and I don't want it accidentally coming down and crashing on somebody, losing my television, but worse, hurting somebody that I care about. So I've come up with a way to anchor this beast to the wall so it won't fall over. So let's get into the details. The base here is 16 and a half inches long, 10 and a half inches deep. And there's a little piece here that sticks out, but it doesn't give much more than this base here is. For 100 pounds and that wide of a television. There's a big rubber pad under here, and that's solid metal. That's probably quarter of an inch worth of steel. It has four small screws here and four small screws it installs in the television. It's been designed to hold this television up. I'm sure Samsung in this case doesn't want to be sued, but I need a little more security than that. Here are the tools and materials for this project. 3 16 that's the hole, 3 quarter inch washers. You'll need two of these M8 50 millimeters long, and that's from here to here. Now you might be able to get away with 40 millimeters depending on the depth of your television. This is for a bigger television like I have. I think over 46 inches, they typically are these M8s, 50 millimeters. For smaller televisions, they might be M6s or M4s. So make sure you check your manual the manual that came with that huge television was a couple pages folded together. So I had to search online, figure out what a mounting plate for the wall would be, and then just assumed after a lot of investigation that these M8s, they're not number 8s, these are called M8s, would work. I'll post all the materials and tools down below so you'll have a list to work from. Toggle bolts. The only thing you really need is this little piece here that you're going to put together when you assemble the part for the wall. And then 3 16 inch, if you used a different size toggle bolt, obviously you'd want to sync up the hardware eye bolt and put it together like this. And then you need a hole punch. A center punch can work as a hole punch. Some sort of tape measurer. A drill is helpful, although I think you might be able to auger out a hole using a punch like this. And then either a step drill, this one goes to half an inch, or a half inch drill. Now these are usually more expensive than these because there's, look at the difference in material being used. And I like step drills for a whole bunch of different reasons. And then I'm using nylon lock nuts on the end here. The reasoning being is I've used these toggle bolts before and what happens is sometimes when you're tightening it up, these guys will fall off into the wall and make your life miserable. I'll need a pencil and then I'm using 350 pound paracord. You could use 500 pound paracord if you really wanted to. I think it's a bit of an overkill. These things are good to well over a thousand pounds I think. I'll check and post it down below. These eyes are good to 53 pounds a piece. So that's 106 pounds. Television only weighs around 100 pounds, but with this locking mechanism, I think you're gonna be good. I'm gonna be up against a wall and it's dark, so I've decided to put all these materials here. I'm gonna demonstrate what I'm doing on the wall here so you have a better understanding of what's going on. Mark the point, use a center punch, and just punch down on it. Now you see this is drywall. And I found you can actually center punch yourself through the wall. If for some reason you go up against a stud, then you wouldn't use this combination. Just use a 3 16 inch eye bolt that's the screw in part that goes into the wood. But we're going worst case here. I think you could actually just kind of move this around and expand the hole if for some reason you didn't have a drill. Since we have a step drill, I'm going to show you what we do here. So you're going to take the step drill and just expand that hole out. And this is why you need the half inch hole because of this right here. And I'm going to put a nylon lock nut on there. Totally optional, up to you. This is what it's going to look like when you go through the hole. You're going to push that through, try to pull back on this, and you just tighten that up. And you can see a whole bunch of times. And then this three quarter inch washer, it's going to seal that hole up so you won't see it anymore. I want to have the curl part up on top here. This is what it's going to look like on the other side of the wall. You'd have to be pulling on that television, literally trying to rip it out of the wall for this to even start to bend. This side is not going to bend at all. So now it's time to go upstairs, grab all the tools, and do this for real and put it in place. I've marked the front corners where I want the piece of furniture that's holding up the television located. Like this. 
and I'm going to move the television away from the wall to give me a little more access to this area right here. So I got this Amazon box. I think it's, it's got these little tabs on the side. And this is what I'm going to use to catch all the dust that comes off the wall. Tape it up like that and that's where I'm going to drill. Well, actually I'm going to drill over there, but the lighting's better here to show you this setup. I already probed the hole and felt around, made sure there was no problems there. I've installed the bolt. Now I use 50 millimeters. You might be able to get away with 40. Those extra threads hanging out there, not a big deal. Hang up my dust collector and push it in. Lock it on the other side and then like I said, just hold it and start tightening it up. And there. Pretty solid, locked in place. I got this and I got this. Now I'm going to do the other side. So an overhand loop. I'm taking about three inches there, wrapping it around like this, and then just pull it through. And again, you don't want a whole lot of tail. Tails, just to keep the knot in place. Now you're just going to run that through the top of this side. This is a 26 inch long piece of 350 pound paracord. And tighten it down like that. And then on this side, I want to be able to make it so I can have it tight, but also you don't want it too tight. So I'm going to do a series of half hitches. Two times through the loop, then half hitches just like this. Pull it down, and then a couple more. It doesn't have to be completely taut. You probably don't want it that way. You want to have a little bit of spring action. If that's a good solid system. You can move the television a little bit, and it's going to be fine. I wish they had a kit like this but I couldn't find it anywhere. Thumbs up and comments, always appreciate it. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in all sorts of home designs and home repairs, making and breaking things, designs of all kinds, I even do costumes, cosplay, and props, check out my channel and please subscribe because you never know what you're gonna see.